Easiest one to slip into canon. Short amount of time after the Cell Games. Now that that's done, let's talk about the movie. Can't believe we got that out of the way so fast. Trunks is back to let them all know he's okay and he went straight business on them in the future. Those androids are dead. It's just a shame there's not a proper send off for Trunks at the end of this movie as this is goodbye to him until Dragon Ball Super or period in this timeline, unless you count the universe, but technically that could be a different Trunks, however you want to look at it. First half of BoJack is so much dang fun I couldn't stop smiling. It's a super unique tournament idea with great matchups, Tien and Trunks being a standout, it's epic, and a ton of humor from Hercule and Krillin. Part of me wishes this was a full movie itself, but it really sets the stage well for where everyone is at post Cell Games. Unfortunately, the downside here, again with the runtime, is Bojack himself is a bit of an afterthought. He doesn't get fully revealed until the 30 minute mark of a 52 minute movie. There's zero development of him or his henchmen or his agency or anything about him, and it's honestly disappointing since the one bit of exposition we get from King Kai, plus their designs are so cool. Again, the runtime just seems to be the culprit. A prologue showcasing the battle between the Kais and Bojack could have been great, with their prison being destroyed all as well. Just show it. Don't tell us, show it. Sprinkle in a couple more character moments of interaction and spruce up the final fight with an epilogue saying goodbye to Trunks, and this could have been perfect. Alas, it's not. It's not there. The baddies are cool, the animation is stupendous, and Super Saiyan 2 Gohan is about as epic as it gets. That transformation still gives me chills. Thunder and everything, and he just obliterates all of them. Completely in character for him to use his full power, his transformation, as a last resort too. Goku gets accused of being a bad dad all the time, I've talked about this before, but can we just appreciate that he broke every celestial and metaphysical rule in existence to save his son? He's a good dad. Speaking of though, Piccolo really loves shooting away blasts that are about to hit Gohan. It's in several of these movies. Vegeta's in this movie with hints at a deeper character arc that's wasted and makes it forgettable. There's your extra character runtime. Focus on that. Focus on how Vegeta is struggling with the fact that Goku is dead, his rivalry is gone, and his son that he's gotten to know has now gone back to the future. There's so much they could have done and they just don't do it. Back to the Intergalactic World Tournament slash Battle Roy Island Royale. You already heard it. It sounds like it should be a video game. Perfect setup and I absolutely love that idea. Credit me if that happens. Bandai Namco, make a Battle Royale set around this concept and make Bojack the final boss. I mentioned this earlier, but one of the biggest missed opportunities of this movie is Trunks, right? We talked about that it's really cool he's back to tell them that he's defeated the androids, but there's no send off for him. There's no making that more important than it should be. It's a throwaway line. But also he gets a really cool fight with one of Bojack's henchmen named Gokua, I believe is his name, which is such a strange name. Like, are you running out of ideas or what? But Gokua pulls out a sword to fight Trunks, which is awesome. And Trunks one shots him once he turns Super Saiyan. It's still a cool fight. But Vegeta later shows up and throws Trunks his sword for it to get broken immediately. Ridiculous. What should have happened is the same, the fight happens the way it does. Trunks punches a hole through Gakua, but he doesn't transform. And then later on when they're all fighting, he shows back up to attack Trunks again, transforms, starts to hit Trunks with the sword. Trunks is having more trouble. Vegeta shows up, throws Trunks' sword, and Trunks and Gakua could have had a sword fight in DBZ. You're gonna have Trunks go against the enemy that also uses a sword and not have him use his own just for it to get destroyed later by Bojack. That could have still happened, but I just feel like that's one of those fan service missed opportunities where they could have done something cool visually and they didn't. I know it sounds like I'm harping on the bad on this one, but it's more in the sense of I like it so much and it could have been so much better if they just spent a little bit more time fleshing it out. I know I've skipped around a little bit with watching these, but it's just the order that makes most sense for how I'm planning it, and you'll see why soon. This one's really, really good. It's one of the more rewatchable ones, but falls victim to not living up to its potential or premise, even though you'll have a blast with it. I give BoJack Unbound four out of five stars. This is one of those ones that I was most bummed that Team Four Star didn't get to with the abridged dub. I understand the reasoning. I hope they bring it back one day as they tease BoJack for so long with the whole pirate theme. I think it would have been great, but thanks so much for watching. Please keep an eye out for content coming soon. Like the video, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And remember, always look for the good.